figured it's about time to do an inspection on this controller. Um, the story behind this is it's um, mineral oil cooled. Um, they will be for sale on my website eventually. Some 9 fets and some 18 fets. They'll all be, uh, all the fets will be upgraded on them. They'll be 100 volt ready. Um, this one here for testing, um, I basically over voltaged it. I um, removed the shunt and left the original caps in it. And the FETs, I think, are only rated for like the original FETs. It's a $20 controller off of eBay. The FETs were rated for about maybe 65 volts or 60. Like cheap, cheap FETs. Um, I was over volting it to about maybe a little over 80 volts with LiPo. So um, this is all summer long I've been torturing this uh, controller and I could not get it to pop or short or anything. It just, it cools so well compared to air cooling. Um, as you can see it's pristine inside. The oil hasn't changed color, you can still see through it. Uh, the caps haven't even swelled up at all. It's just, it's perfect. So, um, I'm liking it. I think what I want to do with the next, with this one here, is I want to lower the board even further down. But, um, it uh, turned out pretty good. So, like I said, there'll be anybody who's looking for a cheap controller to play around with and overvolt the crap out of it and it's oil cooled, you can uh, pick them up on my website under projects. It'll be under there. I'll try and keep it as uh, cheap as possible, but uh, yeah, this is this is just proof it it works. Okay, so the next thing I do is take this board out, upgrade the fets, the caps, throw it back together, torture it at 100 volts, see how it works.